What's going on everyone? This is Phil with Ava Films here with an update on the shipping container. This is video five on the updates. So let's go inside and take a look at what we got done. Um, right off the bat, we got the uh, container painted, but we'll get back to that and show you all the outside in a second. But for now, let's go inside and check out what we've got done. So this morning I hung this TV, but before that um, I've been working on like just hanging the ceiling fans. I put some more like electrical outlet covers on over here. So it's just looking like a little bit more finished. Um, and then yeah just doing little things here and there but yeah like i said this morning hung this tv up and it's got like a uh, you know it comes out and does this thing so like if you're ever like i don't know cooking over here and want to watch tv you can angle it towards you but um yeah so we got that going on and then uh cabinets that's another big thing you probably see they're not finished yet we still got to get the doors drawers and all that and then get them painted but um we're making progress out here um, as soon as I get the cabinets painted and all the doors and drawers on, um, I'm going to come in here with the uh, countertops. I've already got them picked out, but um, yeah, we'll get the countertops in here. And then once that's in and the cabinets are painted, I'll be able to like start doing like the backsplash and, and all that good stuff. So some other little things I've done is like uh, hung up the little remote control for the fan on the wall right there. And that's pretty much all I've done in here, but let's go ahead and take a look at the shower. It's uh, done for the most part. This morning, I also like put the uh, final touches on the, um, I actually hung the shower head up here, but yeah, this is how it's looking. This still needs to be like caulked and everything, but for the most part, I mean, it's all done. I'm excited to get the water all hooked up again and you know, turn everything on and see how it works. But also, um, haven't got the toilet in, I'm waiting to put the floors, but um, we also got this cabinet in. Same thing as the ones in there, still needs door stores and then, then to be painted. As soon as that's done, we'll get the countertops on it, hang a mirror up, um, got this light working, and then also put like this vent cover on, you know, just trying to make everything look a little bit more finished. Also, I put this pocket door in the other day, it still needs to be painted and everything, but um, you can kind of see how it's looking. That's the style I went with, I like it. But yeah, so that needs to be painted, trim needs to be ran around, but I'm not going to run any trim yet until the floors are in so I can do like the baseboards and the trim at the same time. But I'm not going to put the floors in until the cabinets are painted. So we're waiting on the cabinets right now. Um, we'll walk in here to the bedroom. Not a lot has changed since last time. I hung another remote for the fan right here, but um, we'll come in here and take a look. This is kind of like my work area right now. I've got all my tools and stuff laid out. but. Um, up here is going to be where my mini split is uh, going to be hung at. You can see it on the ground right here. We've kind of been messing with it um, the last couple days. But so the mount is mounted right now and it's pretty much ready to be hung up there. I got to put these copper tubings on. So yeah, once I make those connections, we'll run it through. We'll hang it up there. We'll also run like the drain pipe and also like the control wires through there. And then uh, we'll just focus on getting it all set up outside over there. And we'll show you that how the... Um, the other part of the AC is looking out there in a second. But um, other than that, in here, nothing else has really changed. Like in the closet, I mean, I have put like this little cover on, but um, the electrical wires in here still need to be tidied up and all that. I just got them temporarily ran so I can kind of test everything. All right, and yeah, I think that pretty much wraps it up in here. So let's go outside and take a look at um, what all we got going on out there. We'll check out the paint job. We'll check out the um, AC that's mounted on the back side. But yeah, I think it's uh, coming along nicely, slowly but surely. I still gotta clean up this door. It's got like a bunch of like, I don't know, particles or whatever you call on it, but it's gonna get there. But uh, yeah, here it is. Here is the outside of the container. Um, I went with the light gray color and um, I think it turned out good besides the fact that the container was like red before um, we painted it. And I didn't realize when I picked out this container that it had so many dents in it. And so like the lighter color to me, I feel like just brought it out and made them a lot more noticeable, but literally it looks like someone took a hammer and beat the shit out of this. But other than that, um, it's going good. Um, this is the color we picked. It's pretty much ready. And also on the top of the container, I went with a, like a waterproof membrane type material. Basically it paints on, but it dries like rubber. And so that is um, m the material that I use for the top of the container just to help like water seal it and waterproof it and all that. We'll go ahead and take a look at the outside on the back over here. This is the AC there or the outside part of the AC. I don't know what it's called, a condenser or something. I'm not sure. But anyways, we got this mounted yesterday. We put some little rubber flaps um, beneath it right here to help like with the vibration since it is right here behind the bedroom. Like I said, the copper pipe is going to come out of that hole where the water bottle is. It's going to come down around and then right in here so yeah hopefully we'll get that finished up today but um this is the other side of the painted container not as many dents are on this side so that's uh definitely a good thing 
this is more the show side and honestly like since the doors on this side this is kind of like the front if you will so yeah it really just depends on like the orientation of how they're gonna have this thing set up but i think it could work out pretty nice so and this door hasn't been painted yet i'm gonna wait until the uh, cabinets are being painted on the inside to go ahead and paint this just so so everything can kind of be finished painting together but yeah this is a uh, this is it this is how it's looking also, I had a guy in the comments ask about um, how I ran my plumbing in here. And so I'll try to show a little bit of it. The reason why I had the floor or why it's raised up is just so every, like all the pipes can run through here and then run out that side beam on the bottom. And so like no pipes are hanging beneath. So like when I go to move this thing, it'll be easy and no pipes are hanging beneath. But um, essentially what I have is um, a couple of main pipes. So like this is the shower drain. I have a pipe running all the way over here and then um, it connects to the uh, the toilet running that way. And then obviously the sink has a drain. And so what I did was I just ran the pipe all the way over there through that wall and then it went down. But we can go outside real quick and I'll kind of show underneath the container. You'll see what I'm talking about, how, how it's all gonna run out the side. So yeah, this is how it looks underneath here. This T is actually going straight up into the toilet and that's where the uh, toilet flange is sitting on. And then that pipe running up and out, that's where the shower and everything else connects to. But um, you see this pipe open ends right here and I just got the board supporting it up But basically what my idea is to keep all the pipes underneath the frame of the container So nothing's hanging below is to cut a hole in the beam right here And so everything will just come out flush on the side and that's actually how I ran that water pipe too um, This is just a temporary setup right now, but essentially, you know, the main water inlet supply is just coming right through this through this beam right here but all right guys i think that about wraps it up for this video shipping container update part five in the books let me know if you have any more questions about anything i've done maybe i can answer them for y'all but i think that about wraps it up for this video appreciate everyone watching and i'll catch you in the next one